Hello, it's Elizabeth. I'm in my art loft, and I wanted to show you today three little travel journals that I made from paper bags. I took my paper bag and I opened it on the side. I know it rattles a lot. And I just reversed these folds here so that I had this look to it. I did that on both sides and then just straightened that out, folded it in three places, and made a travel journal. I actually used two bags for each of the journals, and I covered them with various things. This one is the one I covered with map pieces. I had made a journal some time ago, I think that you've probably seen that on my channel, that was covered with map pieces. And I think it was a travel journal as well, but it was a different dimension. It was like eight and a half by five and a half or something like this. This one ended up being, um, yeah, it's eight and a half also by, but it's not five and a half. It's only four and a quarter. So approximately twice as tall as it is wide. And with the paper bags, then the one paper bag, you know, went for the cover. And then there was an additional paper bag in the inside. And then a uh, journal that is removable so that you can you know, put a new one in whenever you've used this one up. I, in this case, I covered it with the... Uh, pieces of map, just tore pieces of map to cover it up. I put the little brads and little circles on to do a, I think that's a legal envelope closure or something. And in the in the envelopes, I also put a piece of um, cardstock. That's what the brown stuff is there. I put a piece of cardstock in there to stabilize the, the back cover. And in these, I put... Uh, well, I have this tablet, little tablet of things to do. You can write that before you go, or you can, you know, do it when you get there. I put in pieces of old photo paper that I had, and I was showing some people how it would allow someone to take something from nature of where they are and lay it down and get an image. This image will fade because the photo paper has not been developed and is just, you know, plain photo paper. I have two pieces in the front pocket. I think two pieces in here. Yeah, and that one's got some weird stuff on it. That one's, you know, could be used. And uh, just a plain, plain blank pages. I didn't do a lot of embellishment because I figured that if someone wanted to put, uh, you know, a brochure or something and, and attach it to that page, I didn't want to have ribbons and other things that were in the way of that. I did put a few sayings in the one, in the different uh, journal. Excuse me. And this one says, it's better to see something once than to hear about it a thousand times. And I guess that's an old Asian proverb. Again, the uh, removable journal is just with uh, notebook paper and folded in the middle, tied in the middle, and, you know, you could you could have a permanent journal in there if you wanted to, but this one's just held in with the elastic, and it's keep grabbing the, grabbing the thing, too. And the elastic has a little place on the outside for you to put your pencil or pen so that you don't lose it, and it's really, you know, readily available when you look in your bag or purse or whatever you're carrying so that you have it right there ready to journal in your journal. This one has uh, no additional, oh, it does have a few additional pockets on the back of that. It has here a, a altered paper clip. You could put that on the top or on the bottom or wherever you want it to add page, add pieces of paper to it. I just stuck it into this in the edge of this envelope. This envelope has a computer card which has a little tab on it so it's easy to pull out because it's about the same size as the pocket. And this, this is the center um, bag and I had folded it out, uh, cut off the bottom bottom and folded out so that it made it a, a trifold instead of just a, a double, uh, well it's trifold here too but it didn't have these corners on it. And on this side I put um, another saying, true friends are never apart, maybe in distance but never in heart. That was one from Helen Keller and I have a couple of uh, cards as well as a couple of uh, saying that says peace and peace 
And rest at length have come, all the days long toil is past, and each heart is whispering home, home at last. And that was by Thomas Hood. And this is a little, a cute little pocket. Oh, my phone just knocked, it fell down. <laughs> I have it taped to my light, and my tape just came loose and was trying to get me on the nose, but it didn't. Can you see it again? Yeah, yeah, I can see, okay. And I just, it's a zigzag pocket, so I just made uh, several little pockets and put them together like that. And this, the pocket at the top goes all the way down to the very bottom, so you can put a really long tag in that. You could put all really long tags, and they could all extend up there to the top. Then on the back, I have another altered paper clip that I made out of a, um, the top of one of the spools of ribbon that I had. Um, the, I don't see any of them here, but here's another one that I made that actually has a butterfly on it. I like that one, of course, because I like butterflies, since it says papillon in, in, in um, French. Papillon means butterfly, so that's it. You know, you can add additional things up under there. I mean, other paper clips or whatever you want. Just, you know, kind of clip it to the back outside of it without having to open it when you're putting, you know, when you're getting, picking up things from brochures or whatever from your hotel or whatever. And that's one of the uh, altered paper bag travel journals. And the second one I used... Uh, I used a paper pad called, uh, let me see, I've got it right here. This outside piece is a Tim Holtz piece of paper, but the paper pad that I used for the inside was this one from Paper Studios. It's called Uncharted and it has bunches of different colorful maps. And I thought, you know, use, usually we have to have a map when we go somewhere, either for walking or driving or whatever to know where we're going. This one has a magnetic closure. So it just closes with a little hidden magnet. And it's a pretty strong magnet because it goes through several layers of paper. I put in, in this one I put just plain blank card stock, the same card stock as the, for the tags. And the pocket for the to-do lists and you can write your, you know, your itinerary or you can write your uh, things that you need to take with you. I just made a long, tall pocket there. And this is also made with two paper bags. But I think I just cut off that extra third, would have been third folding in on this one. This one says a journey is best measured in friends rather than miles. Again, a tag there. This is the same kind of little uh, booklet for... Uh, writing your, your uh, destination and, you know, your trip, each of your trip. And I wrote a little prompts for date, destination, and weather to give you a prompt to remind you that those are some of the things that you should write down. And then a bunch of another zigzag pocket up here and some nice little cards. Some of them have some sayings on them and uh, just made, most of them made from the actual uh same scrap of paper as the the covered the the thing itself okay and then back here I have a cute little pocket where um, this is another saying a good traveler has no plans or no fixed plans and is not intent on arriving this has some flippy pockets and the flippy pockets have they're made out of a vellum it has a map on it, and I just put a little tag in there. I haven't written anything on those. Um, you could have it use it to, you know, gather whatever you want. And if the if the um, flap of them is not convenient, I mean, it could be torn off or left open so that you could put, like, um, business cards or whatever else you'd want to put into there. And then, of course, it has a saying at the, at the back, the true friends are never apart, maybe in distance, but never in heart. And this one is closed again by the um, magnets. All right, don't be doing that. Okay. And the third one I did with the uh, some scrapbook paper that I had from Graphic Forty Five, and it's a scrapbook uh, thing called 
flutter and these were the single pages that I got like there's 24 in a pack of the single pages that uh, are two-sided this is one side and the other side has the botanical type stuff on it and this one's closed by velcro I have the uh, photo tags again photo paper as the tags I'll put those together so that they won't bleach out anymore it's not bleaching out it's actually developing <laughs> the stuff true friends are never apart we've read that one before and um, when it finishes developing it'll be a, a really dark brown color but until then it will be these odd colors the weird gray and again you could put photographs or whatever else you'd want to glue onto there and you know, something of your very own that uh, would would pertain to your trips. This one is a. This one doesn't have a map cover. It has a little green cover to match the match the uh, stuff here. And there's our other part of that one page. I mean that one. Um, I could put that this way. I don't know, it doesn't really matter which we want to put them in because they don't have any titles on them or anything. But you can write on the photo paper, obviously, with ballpoint pen. It's not really easy to write on it with pencil. So probably you want to take a pen with you. Um, although, of course, you write in your notebook with whatever you want to write because that paper there will take anything. And um, this one has two sayings on it. It just kind of went around with a, with a Sharpie that uh, green sharpie actually it looks kind of blue green though doesn't it? it kind of matches my words it's better to see something once than hear about it a thousand times and do not follow where the path may lead go instead where there is no path and leave a trail ralph waldo emerson said that and this one closes with a velcro closure so those are the three travel notebooks. I thought about adding a, a backpack for it, but I didn't do that, you know, a, a, an expandable envelope. But I haven't done that because I really like the looks of this back, so I didn't want to mess it up. And I could put, I could give it this paper clip if I changed the look of the paper clip, perhaps, or even if I didn't. I mean, it's a junk journal, as they say, and you can have whatever you want on it. This one, I don't know if this one, nope, it didn't have any little pockets. Well, I think I should probably put some pockets on it somewhere. Except for the, the bag pockets. Maybe I should put some there. I don't know. Maybe I'll use just plain uh, acetate and then you'll be able to see the pretty things through it. I should put some pockets in there. I guess I'll do that. Okay, that's all I have for now. just wanted to show you the three little travel notebooks I made. They will be in my Etsy shop probably next week. I'm kind of lazy about making the pictures for them. And so uh, you'll see it then. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, and subscribe and all that stuff. Bye-bye.